my way. Feeling good, like I should. Let me check my chest, my breath. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this look. Um, I'm calling it that girl, the that girl look because I just feel like it's, it is, it's giving that girl. I mean, it's minimalist, it's subtle, it's cute, but the liner, you know, it's still giving baddie. So if you guys want to learn how to get this look, then make sure to keep on watching. Um, so if you guys haven't tried this already, I've been in love with it. It is the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. Um, I've been using it as my base. I want to say I've been using it for about two months now. It is amazing. It's so great for summer. Um, I feel like it just gives you a really glue, glowy, dewy type of look. If you have oily skin, this wouldn't be ideal for you. Um, but I feel like if you're pretty much like dry to normal, this is perfect because it gives you the right amount of moisture. Okay, so I literally go in with my fingers and do this. And I did like a full syringe size. I'm gonna let this dry for a second and then we're gonna go in and do our eyebrows. Okay, also, this is another new product I've been using a lot. This is the Kosas Brow Pop and this is in the shade Brown Black. Um, I've really been liking this. I feel like this gives you the look of like a pomade um, but in a brow pencil form. I feel like it also stays all day so that's been my favorite lately. You have a breakout and you're just like why why do you want to try my life like this really like it's not it's not cute Okay, so now that that is done, we're gonna go in with concealer and clean up our eyebrows. This is the Tarte C Power Flex in the shade 14N, Fair Light Neutral. And I'm gonna be using this brush. I got this from, it was a BH Cosmetics like crystal. It doesn't actually have a number on it, but it was from like a crystal line that they had. And it was so cute. All the brush colors are like so different. We're gonna do the other side. I feel like I have to update you guys on so much. Um, I have a surprise at the end of the video. I got a dog, so I'm gonna, as he's like making all the noise in the background, thank you, Leo. I'll be introducing him to you guys so that way you can see him. He's a little Frenchy baby. Um, it's been really good so far with him. He, I will say, is very hard to train only because he's so freaking stubborn. So unless I have like food in my hand and I'm like, here, do this and that, whatever, he doesn't care. He won't even like pay me any mind. Um, but yeah, training him has been a project, but it's been good so far. I feel like he's a good dog overall. Um, also, I bought him this like little like tent thing to go in the living room. And I totally thought he wasn't going to like it. But then I was like, you know what, we're going to try it. I feel like he would. It's like a little safe like place for him. So we did that and now he's like in it all of the time. All the time, it's like his little hangout. Um, now I'm going in with the Bare Minerals Rescue Complexion and this is in the shade Ginger 06. Okay, so now what you wanna do is, I pretty much just swipe down first. And then you can go in circles, but like really lightly. I cannot wait for you guys to see the end result of this makeup routine. I've been doing it, I want to say for about a month now. Um, update on my life. I broke out in hives from the one size foundation. And when I tell you it actually took like, I want to say a good month to go away like it was just like would go down swell back up go down swell back up and i didn't wear any makeup it was just taking forever to go away it was like actually the struggle so i wasn't able to film anything or even wear makeup for a little bit um but yeah i don't know i think i just have like really sensitive skin i mean i've heard like great things about it but i just i literally broke out to the one size foundation it was like the struggle for me um but yeah, so that's why I've never broken out to Bare Minerals, which is why I just went back to this. And I'm like, okay, it's really light. It won't be too heavy on my skin. I'll be able to, 
you know, know what I'm getting myself into and not, I feel like it's hard because when you have sensitive skin and let me know if you can relate, you could, you literally have to like think twice about the stuff you buy. Like, I feel like you're like chancing it every time you try something new, unless it's like eyeshadow or something. But normally with my foundation, I try to keep it the same on like a every day because if not, I'm just like, I feel like I'm scarred from like literally having hives for like a month. It was really the struggle not even being able to wear like any makeup or anything. I was so upset. But we did that. I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and just stipple it everywhere just to make sure that everything is blended. Now that we have our foundation on, I'm going to go in with my Makeup by Mario Sculpting Stick. And this is the shade Medium. I've been doing my contour a little bit different lately too, and I feel like all of my clients at work are like, did you like get something done? And I'm like, girl, no, she's all natural. But I'm going to show you guys the trick. So instead of doing like a full on line going from the top of your ear down, I've been taking it up and angling it like down a little bit more, if that makes sense. So it kind of just like pulls everything back. It looks so good. So, I normally start, I like my, let me make sure you guys can see, I start at my temple, and I'm just going to drag it down. I also took it up a little bit higher than I normally do too. Now I'm going back in with my Refi Duo Brush, and I'm going to be using the opposite end. So what you want to do for this is pretty much just stipple it and try to keep it in the place that you've already put it down. Um, I try not to like spread it out so much because I feel like the brush will kind of do all the work for you I don't know why and let me know if you guys have the same struggle but literally every time I'm like I do my one side obviously my more dominant hand it's fine then I go to this side and I'd be really struggling like I really need to think about what I'm doing because I feel like it always ends up like a little bit different than the other side and I have to work twice as hard just to make it look the same I'm gonna use whatever is left on the brush and just take it on my forehead And then now I'm going to go back in with the stippled side and just make sure everything's blended and kind of press it in underneath the contour. I've been doing it a little bit different for my nose. I seen this on, what was it? I want to say it was on TikTok, but it was this guy who did it and he's literally, I've never seen anybody contour their nose like this. He literally just went, went on it like that. It's going to look messy right now, but trust the process. And literally just like blend it in. And I'm like literally doing this so messy because since we haven't done concealer or anything yet, that's what's gonna pull the whole the whole contour together. I'm going back in with my Tarte concealer and we're just gonna drag this like literally down the bridge of our nose. Okay, and it doesn't have to be like perfect or anything like that. Cause it's just gonna stay there for a few and we're just gonna leave it so that way it'll dry a little bit and it's literally gonna make your nose look so snatched. I'm telling you right now, just trust the process. So now we're gonna go in and go ahead and conceal our under eyes. So what I wanna do, I've only been making like a tiny little triangle at the beginning, like right here. Great, so now that we did that, I'm going back in with my Beauty Blender and we're going to blend all this out. And when I'm doing this too, I'm really trying to concentrate it in that like this area right here because I feel like that's where you want most of the brightness. And then you want to blow the rest of it kind of like going out with whatever product that's left over. And I'm taking this on the side of my nose. And I'm going to drag it down a little on the sides of my nose. And then, kind of bring it up towards my eye. And then with whatever's left over on my beauty blender, I'm going to stipple it onto my eyelid. I really don't like having that much on my eyelid because if I do decide to do a full-on look, like obviously I'm going to go in and put 
a lot of concealer on but if not then i'm just gonna use whatever's left over because i want it to look like so subtle now i'm going in with the dragon beauty um translucent powder this is in the shade pink if you guys haven't tried this it is amazing i feel like it will not budge also it has this this like really light like perfume set and it smells so amazing i'm gonna use the tip of the beauty blender we're gonna go in with about this much and just place it exactly where we want it to stay now i'm gonna place it wherever i normally crease I'm gonna use whatever's left over on the cap with uh, my Real Techniques brush in 402. And I'm gonna dust this over my eyelids so that way that doesn't move either. Right, now we're gonna go ahead and blend out our nose. So I'm gonna use the opposite side of uh, where I put the translucent powder at. And we're just gonna stipple this, blend it in. Look at how good this looks. She looks good. Like, she's looking real snatched. And I feel like it was so much like, it was way less work than going in and doing it like completely separate than everything else. But um, I'm letting my powder bake underneath my eyes. I'm gonna go back in with my concealer and kind of conceal any spots that I have any blemishes. I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender and blend that out. Now I'm going to go back in with my Morph 402 brush and we're just going to press all this translucent powder down. I don't brush it off because I feel like that kind of picks up some of the product. So pressing it in just ensures that your concealer isn't going to go anywhere. I always do this after i feel like if i try to mess with my brows too much before, before i put foundation on they're just they're gonna get all messy so i kind of wait to like set them um until after i'm done with like my whole face so now i'm gonna go in with my anastasia beverly hills i think this is the brow the brow gel this is in the, the shade chocolate so what i do is i kind of like brush all of this off because i feel like it's just an excess amount of product that you definitely don't need And then what I like to do is I'll hold a mirror at the bottom and I'll like kind of tilt my head back and just brush up, but lightly. It's giving brow lamination, but without the brow lamination. I'm gonna show you guys um, the new blushes that I've been using too that I, I kind of pick whichever is gonna match with my outfit. Um, but this is the Morph Blush Balm in the shade Wild Wine. And this is this is color is just, it's so pretty. I've just been loving it so far. So that's really nice. And then the other one I've been using is the ColourPop Mic Drop. And then that one's like this. The only thing I don't like about this one is literally that it's a stick. I don't like going over my foundation and like, I feel like it just pulls it all off. Um, I really like the way that this morph one is because I can use a brush and just kind of stipple into it and put as much product as I want onto it. I'm going to go with this morph one. This is the e.l.f. brush. I don't even know if it has like a number. I don't think it does. I got this like forever ago. But anyways, it's an e.l.f. brush um, and it's just like a, I don't know, it's like a stippled, a little stippling brush. But I'm going to go ahead and press that in. And we're gonna go right in and literally just keep doing this, like stipple it the whole way because I feel like this is gonna melt it into your makeup. And you wanna follow the same the same shape that we did like with the contour too. Going back in with my beauty blender and I'm just going to kind of press 
in this front area just or at the highest of my cheekbones just to make sure that it kind of like fades into everything else so now i'm going to set my cream blush with this is the silk glow duo palette by iconic and this is in rose glow they are so pretty so let me tell you i went to sephora and i went in to try and find those new like dior um blushes that they had they were gorgeous they were like really light pink like glittery um i feel like it would be a pretty everyday blush too um but they didn't have it unfortunately so i got the lipstick set that i wanted by dior that just came out but they didn't have the blush so obviously i tried something to match um as close as possible to it which i found these like look at how pretty i feel like this pink is beautiful i feel like it would look good on like a lot of different skin tones and then i feel like this highlighter is just like a really pretty like iridescent like champagne tone um which i'm like a sucker for champagne tones i feel like they go with like you could you could wear it with anything and it just looks great i don't know what brush this is but you can use any blush brush that you have i'm just gonna go ahead and press that and I pretty much try to stick with the same thing. Like I said, you want to stick with um, the area that you already put the blush into. And what we're going to do is stipple it on. Now that that is done, I'm going to be using a fan brush and we're going to go in with this other side, the highlighter. And then we're going to do the bridge of our nose. And then our cupid's bow. Right, now I'm gonna use this really tiny brush. This was from like a, the Rose Gold BH Cosmetics uh, brush collection, um, but this is like the little tiniest like tear duct brush that they have. And we're gonna go into our brows and highlight underneath our eyebrows. I feel like this is always gonna be a thing for me. Like, I don't know if everybody's still doing like a brow highlight, but I'm actually obsessed with it. I feel like it just looks good because my brows are so like thick. I feel like it just like softens the whole look up so it doesn't look like so sharp. We're gonna do it in our tear duct as well. I feel like my makeup has changed so much, like so much. I was just thinking about that the other day and I feel like, you know, before I was all into like all the colors, now I'm like so minimal with everything and I'm not mad at it. Now I'm gonna go in with my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Matte. And we're just gonna shake that. I'm gonna spray this all over. I like doing like, if I do a dewy like base or like a dewy look, I'll go in with a matte because I obviously, I don't wanna look like a grease ball. Um, but I feel like it's just like a good balance because obviously once like if this tends to like wear off a little bit, it kind of just like leaves like a subtle glow. It doesn't look so like shiny, even if you were to take pictures or if you were out and you get hot. And normally when it's wet like this too, if I'm like drying it after I spray setting spray, I'll go in with my beauty blender again and just kind of tap like really lightly. I'm going to call this look that girl, that girl makeup because I feel like everything's kind of like been changing now. I feel like it's more like minimalist and everything is just supposed to be super subtle. Um, I just feel like that's like the change with makeup right now and just like to really make sure everything looks like really natural and blended. So this is the look so far. The next part is going to be optional if you decide to do like lashes. I feel like this is just like a good base. Um, this, this is literally like my everyday makeup. Like I'll go to work with this um, or you know if I have something to do, this is just like really quick and easy and I feel like it just looks like gorgeous like it's like timeless yeah so if you want to do obviously like eyeshadow that's when you would do this or you could do um just like a little bit of um like lashes mascara whatever you please but i'm gonna go ahead and do i think i'm gonna do a little bit of i'm thinking like a liner i feel like a liner would be cute but like a powder liner i'm going in with my kendall and kylie palette um i'm gonna go in with the two shades brown eyed babes and different but the same which is these two bottom ones i'm gonna start off with the brown and just keep adding the black into it just because I feel like I think I want it to be soft I don't want it to be so like bold with black oh 
And then with my inner corner, I don't think I'm gonna drag it all the way in. I'm, I think I'm just gonna use my pinky and kind of like smoke it in a little bit. It's getting snatched. And I'm really just like pressing it in first. Alright, now that we're done with our liner, I'm going to go in with my Milk um, Cosmetics Mascara. This is a Kush Mascara, and we're just going to be coating our lashes. I also curled them with a little lash curler. And we're just going to coat them lightly because we're going to go in with lashes. Honestly, if you wanted to rock it like this... I wouldn't even say nothing because she's still cute. I'm going to do these. These are the Sassy Kala Lashes by... Oh my god, don't look at the, the bottom. Um, I found these at Marshalls like forever ago. They're so cute. And then of course, like always, I'm going to be using my Duo Lash Glue. Um, but before we do that, I'm going to just make sure um, I'm going to cut to fit the lashes. The trick to put on to putting on lashes, I feel like you have to wait the 30 seconds after you put the glue on, so that way when you stick it on, they'll literally just stay in place. I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry. I'm gonna go in with my NYX, um, that's the point, uh, eyeliner. We're just gonna go ahead and do this tiny little area. You see how I just kind of like, I feel like it just connects the lash a little bit more to your lash line since I don't like putting my lash all the way in my inner corner. I feel like 20 minutes in and my corners are popping off which isn't cute going in with my huda beauty lip contour in the shade honey beige Now I'm going to go in with my Dior uh, Addict Stellar Gloss, and this is in the shade 765 Ultra Dior. If you guys haven't tried their glosses yet, like you need to, I am in love when I tell you in love with these glosses. I swear I'm going to go back and get like five more. I'm in love with these Dior glosses, any of the Dior Addict ones. Um, this is, I just picked out the shade. I felt like it was like a pretty, like really like summer type of color. Um, but if you haven't tried them yet, you need to. The only thing is I believe they're like 38 bucks for one. But honestly, if it were up to me, I would have all of them. I feel like they just go on so pretty. Alrighty, you guys, that's going to be it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm so happy I got to film this for you guys. Um, yeah, if you guys do decide to try out this look, make sure to tag me and comment, like, and subscribe. This is Leo. Look at my baby. You're so cute. Hi. A kiss? A kiss because you like my makeup? This is like his thing. I don't know why he likes smelling my lipstick. Thank you. Look at it. Say hi. Say hi to all the YouTubers again. Look at them. You're so cute. Well, hopefully they will be popping up more in all of my videos. That's going to be it for this tutorial. Thank you again for hanging out with me. Um, I hope you guys love this tutorial. And I am definitely looking forward to making more videos for you guys. 
And yeah, if you do decide to try out this look, make sure to tag me on Instagram and comment, like, and subscribe. I'll go ahead and leave all the makeup details down below for all the products that I used. But yes, I will see you guys in the next one and thank you for watching.